I was quarantining before the quarantine. I was in Vegas for seven days. You just like six days too long. Because <laughs> I'm a grown ass man, but I need somebody to hold me accountable for my actions. <laughs> Someone in the city of Vegas has to have the ability to tell me no. <laughs> the entire city can't be like, if that's what you need. <laughs> I know things aren't going well in Vegas when your bank calls you up. <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Bellsman? Uh, no, it's not, Chase. It's just going horribly wrong. <laughs> We're just calling to make you aware of your transactions. Well, I'm just making you aware that I got six, six scenes in a row at a blackjack table. <laughs> Kindly move my savings to my checking. Just fuckery. That's what I do in Vegas, just fuckery. If you ever wanna know what the definition of fuckery is, follow me in Vegas and you'll be like, oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Couldn't trust myself. I just stayed in a hotel room watching movies till showtime. I saw the Avengers like four times. I love comic book movies. They relax me, take me back to my childhood. And I love them all. And they're trying to get better, right? And there's a rumor going around that Michael B. Jordan, amazing black actor, starred in Creed, villain on Black Panther. They say he's gonna be the next Superman. Now listen, Minneapolis, I'm all for diversity. Pretty sure you knew that. <laughs> Pretty sure I walked up on stage and everybody's like, I bet he's for diversity. <laughs> I'm all for diversity, but Superman's white. <laughs> Superman's a white dude. You know why Superman's white? Because Superman believes in the justice system. <laughs> A black alien from Kansas is gonna have some issues. <laughs> well, Superman stands for true justice in the American way. Nah, not black Superman. Black Superman here for vengeance. <laughs> Why does black Superman keep fucking up the police? Why black Superman? That's his name too, black Superman. <laughs> He don't even have a costume. He just flies around in a Colin Kaepernick jersey. <laughs> Wearing Beast by Dre. Just, I'm about to fuck some shit. <laughs> Always talking to the third person. Listen, white lady, black Superman can't keep counting cats out of trees. It's real crime. <laughs> so testy, black Superman. Some things are the way they're supposed to be. Superman's created in 1938. Be honest, you really think black Superman could thrive in the 30s? <laughs> yeah, he works at the Daily Planet as an elevator dude. <laughs> Going up? Well, thank you, Mr. Kemp. <laughs> this is how uncomfortable y'all are. Fuck you. Listen. <laughs> He's dating Lois Lane, but she's like, you got to keep this a secret. <laughs> Lose my job fucking around with you. I ain't on that bullshit. Don't be getting me fired, Calvin. <laughs> no black clerks. <laughs> Calvin Kent. Calvin Lucius Kent. I get that it's fantasy. I just want my fantasy to be realistic. They want a black Batman. No. Batman is two things. He's white and he's a billionaire. And that's it. That's why no one knows who he is. He's white and he's a billionaire. Oh, it could be anyone. Who could it be? A black Batman? He's black and he's a billionaire. Well, I'm pretty sure it's LeBron James. Uh, it's either LeBron James or Jay-Z, but Jay-Z doesn't have the kind of athleticism that's needed to fight crime like that. Relax, ho. But you know, Beyonce ain't gonna let your ass out that late every night. <laughs> 3 a.m., you driving the Batmobile, drinking that lemonade, you better get your ass home. <laughs> Some people get carried away, they're like, it could be Kanye West. Kanye West could never be Batman. Cause he'd be like, hey, guess what, y'all? I'm Batman, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not how you superhero. 